all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to a very long overdue settings video today i'm going to go over all of my settings including my peripherals to help you guys uh basically learn from me and hopefully give you a good head start to this season so let's go ahead and start off options general settings first off matchmaking preferences uh for t hunt i do like to play only on disarm bomb i know it says protect hostage it's because i was getting a screenshot but i like to play disarm bomb headshot only of course and then i like to play coastline for the map a lot of people have been asking for my t hunt settings in these uh settings videos so that is that pings on performance metrics off most of this is all pretty default you're going to want to make sure that your drone after prep is on manual this is really important match replay on that's up to you personally i just have team chat on i feel like all chat is a little bit distracting crossplay that is totally up to you now as for the hud settings i'll just go ahead and scroll through here and you guys can go ahead and just pause at any point throughout the video and just go ahead and copy whichever settings you'd like to copy and while we do this if you guys haven't already liked the video feel free to do that it would help me out quite a bit helps other people find this video as well so you'll be doing them a favor make sure you guys are subscribed to i post daily videos here on the channel so make sure you guys have those notifications turned on so you don't miss any uploads like this one but there we go so that's the hud settings on to audio now english english i do have subtitles on the reason for this is i'm actually not even sure if it still works but back in the day if say an enemy reloaded near you you and they like said reloading or whatever you would get a subtitle for that so sometimes you'd kind of be able to see if people were near you based off of subtitles from the other team so any voice line that the other team had you would get subtitles for i'm not sure if it still works but it's just something i've kept on over the years master volume is on 70 and my windows volume is on 100 no real reason for this that's just what i have it set to music volume on zero prefer to listen to my own music dialogue volume 70 dynamic range i'm really not sure which is best hi-fi tv or night mode personally i play night mode and i've been playing on night mode for i don't know three plus years now i definitely think it's the best like dynamic range you could play on in my opinion i've tried hi-fi i've tried tv for me personally i like night mode but you guys play around with it and see what you prefer the most voice chat volume on 70 as well you see i just kind of put everything to 70 for some reason mute on unfocused on and i basically have my uh, in-game voice chat disabled uh this is because there's sort of a bug i was experiencing when i would tab in and out of my game it would like activate my my push to talk for some reason and i it would just be stuck on even if i wasn't pressing the key so the only way to fix it i found was to disable my my voice chat so if you guys are always asking my comments why aren't you calling out in, in game chat well it's because it's basically either open mic for me or disabled so i opt for disabled of course because i have people i'm talking to in discord etc moving on my main monitor that i'm playing on is the pixio uh prime monitor it's a 360 hertz monitor this thing is an absolute beast the best monitor i have used by far the difference between 240 hertz and 360 is not substantial but it is noticeable enough that when i have dropped frames to 240 hertz from 360 it is noticeable right but it's not anything like going from 60 to 144. now with that being said this is a great monitor i absolutely recommend you guys check out the pixio uh, px259 ps that's the exact name for this monitor make sure you guys check it out i'll have a link to the website down below in the description make sure you guys use code shock you get 10 percent off i really do use this monitor it really is good for my two other monitors they are aurorus monitors i've had these for like two years now and they're just uh i think 1440p 165 hertz monitors i don't play on them they're just my my secondary monitors uh with that being said though i do play on 1080p full screen of course 360 hertz 4.3 if they sync off fps limit off widescreen letterbox off 84 fov of course and the hud display area set to 80. now moving on to graphics i have my nvidia reflex low latency set to on plus boost 
the latency flash indicator off definitely make sure this is off it's kind of annoying if you have it on uh maybe someone in the comments could help me learn more about what this is i'm not really sure what it does so i've kept it off but texture quality on high i'll move this around sometimes it'll be on very high sometimes it'll be on low but right now it's on high texture filtering uh 16x led quality set to ultra shading on low shadows are set to medium definitely want to make sure your shadows are set to medium as if you have them set to anything below that aka low you're not going to get dynamic shadows and dynamic shadows are basically uh anything any moving shadows so like player shadows for example and that can help you get a lot of really easy kills and give you some really free pre-fire kills so definitely make sure you guys have your shadow quality set to medium at least reflection quality low vfx low and then all of this just off make sure you guys have all of this off in my opinion you're definitely not going to want to have this on it's just going to be a huge distraction and yeah that is it for the graphic settings so moving on to controls now i'm currently playing on 50 50 i'm not sure what the description says but i am playing on 50 50 on 800 dpi and i'm playing on a pulsar x2 mini raw put off just because it's kind of buggy there's a lot of issues with it mouse look conversion disabled i'll go ahead and just open this for a second and then you guys can go ahead and pause and copy this if you would like but that is my ads sensitivities mouse scroll disabled this only disables it in game so out of game it's still going to work of course but this is really helpful because for some people they have a uh, scroll goal to switch weapons and if they're gadget key is also middle click what will happen is sometimes you accidentally just switch weapons and for me it was getting me killed a lot so i just disabled it i recommend everyone else do and you get in the habit of using one and two to switch weapons but that's just my personal opinion gadget deployment set to advanced same with drone deployment aim is on toggle so instead of holding right click to ads i just click it once and then click it again to un ads a lot of people get a little tripped up about that but it is weird but i do play toggle uh lean set to toggle as well sprint on hold crouch prone walk all that set to toggle and controller settings i don't really play controllers so we're not going to look at this this is all default although i have made a few controller videos that you guys could check out but once again i'm going to go ahead and scroll through all of these control settings and at any point feel free to go ahead and pause and copy or check out whichever settings you would like to see once again though if you guys haven't liked the video if you guys have found this video useful please consider liking really does help me out quite a bit subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well i want to hit 400,000 subscribers we're closing in on it we're getting pretty close so if you guys want to mind subscribing that would definitely help me out and check out g fuel with the link down below in the description use code shock get 30 percent off great company great drink highly recommend it but this is all basically spectator stuff you guys probably aren't very interested in that and that is all of my control so on to privacy uh this is really just streamer mode settings this is totally up to you guys so this really isn't important whatsoever accessibility this is going to be the last thing we'll go over settings wise and my optic color is going to be set to purple the optic capacity is set to 100 screen shake intensity this is super important make sure it's not set to default or medium you want this off screen shake is when someone breach charges something or nades something and it, your whole screen just starts shaking you can't see you definitely want to have screen shake intensity set to off team colors totally up to you me personally i like my team color being set to blue and then the enemy being red i feel like that just kind of makes sense but totally up to you on what you want to set that to all of this stuff is uh, default or just set to off but that is basically it settings wise just to go over a couple of my peripherals i am currently playing on the wooting uh 60h e keyboard or something like that i'm really not sure what the exact name is I, I i apologize if i butchered that name i just got it like yesterday or like two or three days ago so i i don't even really know how to even say the name but the keyboard is absolutely amazing i highly recommend it once again i'm using that pulsar x2 mini wireless mouse and then i am using the steel series i believe they're the arctis nova pro wireless headphones i'm not really sure 
but that is basically the setup that i'm running i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did once again feel free to drop a like subscribe if you guys are new turn those notifications on as i do post daily here on the channel so you guys are not going to want to miss out on those future videos feel free to check out my sponsors with the links down below in the description use code shock it does help me quite a bit thank you so much for watching and have a great day